Hello and good afternoon everyone. I come to you from the Devil's Dyke Railway Trail, which is just to the north of Brighton. Anyway, some of you might remember, some of you might not. It's been a year now. I came up here last summer. Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I'm going uphill as fast as possible. This route takes a couple of hours to do normally. I'm trying to do it as quickly as I can. That's, plus it's hot going uphill as well. So yeah, anyway, this is the, the old, well now, the Dyke Railway Trail, now a footpath up to the top of Devil's Dyke. This railway, this was a railway, it was open between 1881 and closed on New Year's Eve 1938. A little steam train, it was only little because of the steep incline of the hills. They, uh, they went up to the top and back down towards Brighton. And there's a little stop just up here for the golf course, the Hove golf, co golf course even. Um, they used to ring a bell at a nearby pub, which is now long gone. Um, <clears throat> they used to ring a bell for the golfers to let them know that the train was either coming up or going back down. So they'd let the golfers know that the train was coming. Anyway, this line used to take people up to what was a massive theme park on top of the... Excuse me a moment. Sorry, I had to let the cyclists go past. So yeah, this line was, used to go up to the top where there was a massive amusement park back in the Victorian times. Uh, Bank holiday 19, sorry, 1893, saw 30,000 people ascend up this line to the top of the Devil's Dyke, which is one of the highest points on the South Downs. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me, it's hot and I'm going uphill, so. As I said, bear with me. So there's some of the views yet again. It is beautiful. I love it up here. Absolutely stunning. But I don't recommend doing it on a hot day unless you're brave like I am and you've got balls of steel like I have and you've got plenty of water in your bag, then do it, why not? But try to pick a less hot day <laughs> to do it so yeah I'm about two and a half miles into a four mile walk up to the top walk slash cycle probably more walking to be fair because it's a steep incline and then I'm just going to cycle the way down and go and annoy my uncle who lives in Portslade nearby anyway I shall give you a shout when I get up to the top the views up there are stunning, as you might know from my previous visit, not so long ago, when I brought my little brother up. And I'll get some pictures and video up there for you. Anyway, I'm off. Take care now. Bye. 